two. <laughs> <laughs> We're here with Michael. <laughs> Baby Michael. All right, so we want to tell you the whole birth story. Well, bits as much as we can. But before we dive into that, remember, we announced to all of you, eh, maybe six months ago, that he was on his way. showed you this. And here we go. Oh my gosh, thank you for a healthy baby, Lord. Yeah, boy or girl. <laughs> so I realized that was amazing. That was amazing. We found out baby boy. We didn't tell you the name though for which was really hard. I can't tell you how many times in, <laughs> I said it. In editing. <laughs> I had to cut Michael out of the vlogs over the last what, 4 or 5 months. This is the first time we found out out of our three kids, if it yeah. was a boy or girl. So we really loved knowing and naming and talking to him and addressing him. When did we choose Michael? Because they probably don't. Oh, that's a good point. It was probably, I think it was like January-ish, yeah. like officially. So yeah. maybe two months ago. Yeah. We were like, Michael Colby. Michael Colby. If you watch the birth vlogs from a week ago, oh, up there, oh, check them out. They're beautiful. You might be wondering, oh, yeah. oh, there's a few holes in the story. Well, obviously, just to be a false story. True love was in a lot of pain. There was things happening, <laughs> and so we <laughs> could not tell the full story in the moment. We're not capable. <laughs> we just we're not we were not capable. capable. So here's the full story of the birth. In our infinite wisdom, our game plan, what, what game plan did we have? So Sethi, our youngest at the moment. Our second born. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, second born at the moment. He, his birthday is two, was two days before this guy's due date. And we didn't want labor and delivery to interfere with his birthday. And so we, cause we're so brilliant, we're like, oh, we'll pop his birthday up two weeks, March 10th. And so two weeks before we're like, Sethi, it's your so birthday's fun. coming up. It's almost your birthday. And we just rode that fake birthday hard because fake we, birthday. we just were, we didn't want, we wanted him to have a special day. He's a bit of a sensitive child. Good and we didn't want him to steal the thunder. Right, exactly. And so the night before the fake birthday, Seth is decorating the whole house. March 9th. I'm, I'm, I'm in bed wrapping presents. And at the end of my very last present, taped it, I, I felt a little, it was like the first, I guess, mini contraction. It was just the first time I was like, oh, that, that's weird. That doesn't feel normal. I remembered Seth and Joseph, but especially <sighs> Seth's birth. And I just knew that something was happening. Mm -hmm. Even though it was two weeks, he was... Two, two weeks, weeks early. early. Mm -hmm. But I called the doctor maybe what? Maybe an hour later, 45 yeah. minutes later. Oh, just it was like maybe 25 minutes later he said, let's just later. start Let's just start tracking Kay. these weird things that are happening. Called contractions. And I was like, this is a weird thing. She was in denial. Yeah, I she was. She was a little bit. Big time. I was like, hon, where's the hospital bed? <laughs> I know. And then when he called the doctor, I was like, um, should we just go back to bed? Let's just think about this. We, let's just all go back to bed. And then I left for five minutes I, and I came back dressed. And I think that freaked you out. Yeah. I came back dressed because I was like, all right, we're going. We're, I we're going. You, you I had knew. the wisdom. I knew. I knew. And so oh, this is on. probably what. And I didn't even tell True Love this. I called my mom. Yeah, to come over. To come over to watch the boys because I knew we were going. You guys, it's so nice to have a spouse and a best friend who has wisdom and, and prudence and knows you and knows like when real things are happening. When I was the so pain. Scared pain, right? Yeah. When the pain is happening. When the pain is happening. We're in the hospital room at 10.30. Yeah, so I'd say... Whatever time that Yeah, however well, that 10 Yeah. We started heading toward the hospital. Okay. The first time. Yeah. That's like you caught in the one video we say round two. So we got there at... She checked me. It was like 10.30. I think, think I remember. By the time we got up to the room and got undressed and everything. And she checked me and I was a one. And I was having some serious pain and I thought for sure... I mean, at least I was grateful I wasn't a zero, but I thought I would be at least a two or a three or... 
In my head, I was like, I'm probably a four. And I was a one. I was a one. <laughs> Big old fat one. And so they can't admit you. But she she did say, let stay here in this room. Let's We can give you like two, two and a half hours. And if you progress, if it changes at all, then we most likely can admit you. And so we were just thinking, no problem. Things are progressing. And contractions weren't progressing. They were. It was the 511 thing, you know, where it's like every five minutes for at least a minute Last for an hour. an hour. That happened. Uh, like for like, an hour, an hour and a half, almost two hours. That happened at the house. That did happen at the house. You That's why we went in. You know who you are, nurse. <laughs> Basically at 105. 105 a.m. A.m. She was discharging me because. And that's where the first vlog, you might remember, cut. Before you didn't see that I because it's the next day. It's 1:05 a.m. Oh. oh, you've got to go home. You've got <laughs> no. She gives me an Ambien. She tells me which is like a sleep. Yeah, pill. it makes you sleep, sleep really hard. Pill. And she was really, we really loved her, mm -hmm. but she definitely was treating us like we were first time parents and was like, you know what? Your body's just revving up for the big day. It's gonna be in a couple weeks. Don't worry, this happens to a lot of women. And then she was like, don't worry, we're not back behind the nurse's station laughing at you. And I was like, why would you say that? <laughs> what? Yes, you are. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> And she was really sweet. She checked me three times in that. Even right as we were leaving, I was like, when can I come back? She checked me one more time. I did not change at all. I was a solid one that whole time. So to her defense, she, you know. Couldn't really admit she, us. She couldn't admit us. But she also gave me an ambient and was like, we'll see you in a couple weeks. And we get home and I we fall asleep for an hour. An hour. An hour. So it's about... 2.30 yeah. to 3-ish. I started, it woke me up, my contractions woke me up, so I start timing my them again. Nana, my mom, oh, is sleeping on, the, on couch. the couch. Bless her. And we wake her up at, you know, 1 a.m., 30 when we got back, and then yeah. 3 a.m.-ish. Because I remember we got back like into the, ho the hotel room. I wish it was a hotel room. Back into the, oh, back into the hospital room at 4.11. And when we got back, all the same nurses were on shift. So so that's so this is the start of the second vlog. Okay. The second vlog is kicking in. The when we say round two. Uh, round two. Round, round two. two. We're going back at yeah. three. It's fifty something. Well, let's see. No four. Yeah. Well, we were in the room at four eleven, and so she was checking me because I looked up at the clock, and she says to this guy, "Don't unpack the car." She thinks it's not gonna happen. She doesn't believe us. And I knew in my gut. He's kind of giving her the side eye like, I was like, home. are you kidding me? This is happening. Round two, round two. And this is where maybe I'll insert a few more screens oh, in that car. Good job, it's painful. I, I knew the baby, Michael. Oh, it was really painful. I don't handle pain well. I don't know anyone who does. Well, I'm sure there's a lot of people who can handle pain, but I am so far from being one of those people. And I never in my life thought, oh, I would like a natural birth. I just want that challenge to push them out on my own. Never, never. I want my epidural. Give me my epidural. Joseph, like halfway hurt, worked, worked the epidural half halfway. Seth, we were too late. Michael, what happened? We get in, she checks me, I'm five. She lets him unload the car. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> They called my doctor, they hook up the IV because they needed to get some antibiotics going and they were starting to bolster me for my epidural. <sighs> Only a dream of an epidural because then 10 minutes of hard intense labor, screaming my head off, wanting to crawl out of the bed because the pain was so intense and then my water broke and that's never happened. The other two, they, they broke it right before I was ready to push and then I was like, I want to push and they were like, don't push and then T Tammy was like, are you, are you so mad at me? Or no, she was like, do you hate me? And I was like, no, no. And then the contractor would come up and be like, yes! <laughs> and then, so 4.11, we were in that room. By 4.46, this precious Michael was in our arms. 30 minutes later from the second time we arrived. So good thing we came back, Mrs. Oh Nurse. Gosh, two pushes. He, two pushes. He which was, they were hard. And I'm grateful there was only two, but. And that's where the vlogs slipped fades in. Out. Fades into black. Guys here. 
That's the story. It was crazy. It was crazy. So if we they would have let us stay and given me my epidural and started my antibiotics, all would have been well. We would have had just like a little peaceful entrance into the world. But we, later we were in the same room for a little bit before for recovery for maybe like 12 hours or something before they moved us to the other side. And we were like, wait a minute. We don't hear anybody else screaming their heads off. <laughs> and we asked, and hon, what was the answer? It's because they all have an epidural. <laughs> <laughs> their pain is numbed. We'll bring it all full circle. <laughs> He came on the fake birthday, and so when the boys woke up on Saturday, we were not here, Nana was here, but they just rolled with it and had a birthday without their parents. We, we were a little worried, like, oh, what they be you said, they would be sad, and like, we do everything as a family, and we're not there, and when they came to visit, we asked when, like, how did it go? And she's like, hate to burst your bubble. They didn't even mention your name. <laughs> so. So such, they love their Nana. Such is life, yeah. such is life. All right. The end, and it was all ended well. And thank you again for all your comments. Aww. And I haven't even replied to them, but you know, life happens. We appreciate it. Thanks for your, your support. support. Yeah, support. Yeah, it's awesome. So We love you guys. All right. I'm going to go put this little booger to bed. <laughs> See, beauty. Work hard. And love each other. I love Michael. I love Michael. Oh. Did you hear that? He's talking to you. That was precious. Or that may have been a burp.